Hi! <laughs> Welcome to this week's Twin Flame Soulmate Tarot Reading. So, if you haven't visited my channel before, hi, my name is Billy Joe. It's so nice to have you here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome. You know I love each and every one of you. So I'm just going to dive right on in. Any information you need to know about me is usually in the description box. How to contact me. Um, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram. If you want to reach out and get your own um, personal reading. Again, all that information is in the description box. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Now remember, only take part of the message that resonates with you. You don't want to force anything that doesn't fit, alright? So let's first kind of get a look and see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. This right here is the Cosmic Tarot deck. What is going on with the Masculine in this connection? So we have the Seven of Wands. So... The Divine Masculine in this connection um, has been facing maybe a lot of opposition right now. A lot of stress, a lot of worries. It seems like things are just coming out at him in all angles. Then we have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups, wow. You know, here he is. He's got, a, again, just a lot going on. You know, it's like, oh, give me a break. I need a break. You know, we have the Hermit card. So he's been spending a lot of time alone, a lot of time in contemplation. He's been trying to think of what he wants to do, what direction he wants to take. The Ace of Swords. He may be actually, for some of you, he's actually meditating, trying to get more clarity and in what direction to take towards his happiness, which is the Sun card on the bottom of the deck. He's trying to find happiness possibly trying to heal some of his childhood wounds. Um, that way he can get more sunlight, get more light and love into his life. And, and this is over the Queen of Wands. This is focused, passionate energy, you know, creative energy. Let's draw some. Um, <laughs> I have this new deck. It's called the Twin Flame Hunger Vampire Edition. It's by the Fire Witch Tarot. So I'm going to pull some of these cards just to see, you know, what is it that he's doing. Let's get a look at a little more in depth and how it has to relate to the Divine Feminine and this connection. But what is he in conflict about? What is going on? Now I know he's trying to find happiness, trying to figure out which direction to take, looking for inspiration. So let's see here. We have... I don't want no one to have you but me. So for some of the Divine Feminines, your masculine is a little bit jealous. A little bit of jealousy here. We have, I am ready for you. Um, this masculine may have walked away from the connection. He may have kept you at a different di distance for the Feminines. Um, but now he's ready for his Divine Feminine. We have, I fear you won't accept me for who I am. So he has things about himself that... You know, he doesn't love about himself. Um, bottom of the deck is in transition. Like we was talking earlier, he's he's trying to figure out what direction he wants to go to find his happiness. And that's over. Our bond is unbreakable. So no matter what, you know, I'm just sensing that no matter um, what decision he makes, it's like he knows it's going to lead to you. It's going to lead to where the universe wants it to go. So... I'm going to pull a couple cards from the Dark Knight of the Soul Troll. This is uh, created by Angela with Mystic Moon. So let's, let's get some clarifiers on uh, what is it that he doesn't feel like the Divine Feminine is going to accept about him. What is it about himself that he does not like? So, <laughs> we have Dictator of Sorry, Sorrow, Sorry, <laughs> Checked Out. So, <laughs> Checked Out, wow. 
So, and, and I love how, you know, the dictator of sorrow, like, um, with checked out, maybe for some of you, he had actually ghosted you. Maybe he doesn't respond to some of your text messages or get right back to you. Like, the, the feminine, you know, if, if we don't get those messages back, we just kind of get, um, disheartened. So, and checked out, he just kind of checked out of the connection for a little bit. You know, maybe pulled his energy back. Then we have the Hierophant, the False Prophet. So, for some of you, um, for some of you, he, he's not into the spiritual path that you're into. And he, I can just hear I'm not buying into it. So, maybe you told him that you're Twin Flames High Level Soulmates. And he's like, mm, I'm dipping out on that. That sounds a little crazy to me. <laughs> And then we have Siren of Torment, Femme Fatale. Um, so he, he kind of, I get the sense that he, you know, at one point he kind of thought his divine feminine was a little cuckoo. Um, and, but then we have the wheel, Misfortune, on the bottom of the deck. It's just, you know, I see this clock piece, this, or it's actually a compass, but it's like the timing wasn't right, but... Now that he's looking back, he's like misfortunate because he didn't realize, um, then it's over the Eight of Torment entanglement. He didn't realize exactly how deep the connection really is. So, we see that he, you know, he's hoping you can forgive him for that. Um, but he's not very optimistic about it. So, what does he think now? What does he think about the feminine now? I'm going to use the Masculine Madness deck by Bridget Rowe. It says, Impatience. I know I'm running out of time. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Did I put it off too late? Is it time for me to turn around? You know, is it time, you know, can I, can I contact her? Is it too late to contact her? You know, did I put her on the back burner for too long? And then we have hostile. There's so much anger inside me. But he, I'm getting, he feels like you're angry with him. The feminine is angry with him. And then we have soul searching. I found what my soul was searching for. You. And, you know, he's, it's like he's searching for a way to reconnect with you. Let me pull, pull a couple cards. And, and, and I act like I'm talking to the Divine Feminines. Because let's be honest. Most, <laughs> most of my viewers are Divine Feminines. So pull a couple of these higher love oracle cards here. So... We have major ending, new beginning. So he is in transition. You know, the way he views this connection is changing. The way he views his feminine is changing. We have helping others mentor. So he may have some friends or maybe he's researched things on the internet to try and help him get better clarity on twin flame soulmates or why he kind of feels this connection that kind of makes him feel a little cuckoo, a little crazy. And decision making, where he's again, like we were saying earlier, he's trying to decide in what direction he wants to take. What does he want to do? He's trying to figure out what action needs to take place now because he kind of feels like it's been too late. Okay. Let's put these to the side. And I'm going to pull some. Pull some cards on <clears throat> what does he desire for his divine feminine to know? I'm going to use the Deeper Desires deck by Bridget Rowe. What does this masculine what want his feminine to know? 
we have fighting. I love when you're angry. It means we get to kiss and make up. So he wants to kiss and make up. You know, whatever the disagreement was, whatever it was when he, you know, um, <clears throat> maybe ghosted you or walked away, he's hoping that you can make it up, um, <clears throat> preferably passionately. <laughs> Games, let's play What's in My Mouth. So, <laughs> they want to get a little playful, a little frisky, have a little fun. They don't want to be all serious. Like, they want to um, possibly reconnect with you and make it up to you, but they want to do it in a playful manner. And we have travel. I want to take you far away and make love in exotic places. So, <clears throat> he definitely has it in his mind to... Um, get this connection kicked back into gear. I'm going to pull a couple of these cards that I had created. There's some, there's some sweet loving messages in here, but there's some really hot and steamy messages too. We'll see what comes out. If it's steamy messages, I'm not I'm not going to say any curse words because I'm not trying to, like, make this an adults-only reading. It's not for children, but none of my readings are for children, but I'm not trying to put any graphic, nasty, sexual-type stuff in this reading. I'm trying to keep it, you know, I'm trying to keep it good, nice, clean. <laughs> So we have, I am yours. Wow. So he wants the feminine to know that, that he's hers. And, and he belongs to her and she belongs to him. Your kisses are so soft and sensual. He misses your mouth on him. He wants to kiss you. And then we have, why would you want me? You deserve so much better than me. Oh, that's so, that's just so, uh, look, I researched twin flames. I know you are my mirror. What was I saying earlier? What was I saying? We have video phone sex. Let's put that, put the long in long distance. Okay. Okay, masculine. So maybe he's hoping to hear from you. Maybe he's hoping you send him a sex, a, uh, what's that? Sexting? <laughs> Maybe he's hoping you will um, <laughs> send him something naughty. He really wants to play. <laughs> so let's get these put aside and start looking into the Divine Feminine. So what is going on with the Divine Feminine in regards to the Masculine? What is going on with the Divine Feminine? When it comes to this connection and when it comes to the divine masculine what's going on with the feminine so we have the six of roses that's like the six of wands victory she feels confident she feels like things are going to progress progress in a in a better manner we have the number 12 hanged man attitude she's changed the way she views things you know she has learned to um, view this connection and view her masculine um, from a new perspective, from a new standstill. We have the Eight of Gems, which is like the Eight of Pentacles, perfection, perfectionism. So she's trying to look at how far um, this connection has come, how, how much work has gone into the connection and, um, and into the relationship, you know, how much healing that she's done within herself. She feels confident because she's she's worked on herself. She has this positive self-esteem. You know, she's it's like she's really went within and she's realized that to heal this connection, she first has to heal herself. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Roses stress. So this is something she's overcome. She's overcome that stress, that victim victim mentality that she may have previously had. And her her it's changed to the will of fortune. It's this luck. So her outcome has improved vastly. So let's pull um let's pull some of these twin flame hunger cards. 
what does she think and feel for the masculine? Something that she doesn't tell him. What's something she doesn't share with her masculine? What's something the masculine doesn't <laughs> doesn't know? What what feminine? What have you not told your masculine? Something that he doesn't know. So we have I pray for you, my love. So what the divine masculine doesn't know is his feminine keeps him uplifted in light. She keeps him uplifted. She prays for him. She probably sends him, you know, positive energy, healing energy. We have euphoric lovemaking. So she may possibly be doing some sex magic, sending him energy through sex magic, some healing. We have satisfy my thirst, I need more. She craves her masculine. And I mean, seriously craves him in a strong, deep way. We have I make, I make you dream of you. Dream of me, I'm sorry, I make you dream of me. So she may be sending you erotic dreams, lucid dreams. She may be visiting you in, in astral travel. I'm really sensing that she may be, um, when she masturbates or does sex magic, um, she sends you her, um, I call it sending you her orgasm. So she sends you that, that powerful um, release of creative magic when she reaches her peak. And she sends it to you so you can think of her at the moment she climaxes. It says, a little goes a long way. So a little bit of that energy she sends to you, it goes a long way. <laughs> so um, let's look at some of these Dark Night of the Soul Troll. Just to see what, what kind of shadow work is she working on. What kind of um, things is she trying to heal within herself? For this connection to heal. Okay. So we have. We have the eight of decay. Abandoned ship. So she, she does fight these feelings of abandonment. These fears that the divine masculine is never coming back. That he decided to go overboard. <laughs> We have the number 15 devil playing with fire. So she possibly fears that he doesn't desire her the way she desires him. You know, that can be that can be a real a real thing there for a lot of feminines. You know, a lot of feminines, you know, she's working on her self-esteem. She's working on herself, but then there's still that, you know, that trigger point where like, uh, what if he sees me and he's he's turned off or he's not attracted to me so that's a big issue and then we have the four of rage charcoal remains like she's been so burnt up abused that she's like do i really have anything left to offer bottom of the deck is the two of rage fire escape so what I'm sensing is sometimes she tends to escape into her daydreams, into her, um, the vision board in her mind, things that she wants, things she wishes that would happen, you know, instead of what is actually going on. And that's over the three of decay submerged. So she tends to get lost in her desires and her wants and what she wants. Let's pull a couple of these higher love soul cards okay she says moving on escape so some of the divine feminines are trying to decide if they're going to move on are they tired of waiting? Do they want to continue waiting? What should they do? We have loss issues. Some of them feel like, you know, just cut their losses and run. You know, pausing to reflect. They're still trying to decide. They have not quite decided if that is the right move to make. 
So let's pull some of these masculine madness cards just to see. What is the what's going on with this woman? What is something she would want to say to her masculine but doesn't? It says mind altered. I just want to escape. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was picking up on earlier with the, you know, just kind of going into her illusions. We have nurturer. I want you to take care of my needs. That's one of the things she escapes to is her desires for her masculine. You know, what she's wanting to do with her masculines. Then we have confusion. What am I running from? That's that pausing to reflect. Does she want to run? Does she want to cut her losses? And then we have impatience. I know I'm running out of time. It's like, this is more of the sense of she's being impatient. She's tired of waiting. She's sick of waiting. She wants union. She wants something to happen. She doesn't like being on the back burner. So let's get some messages from the feminine to the masculine. From the deeper desire stack by Bridget Rowe. What's some things that this divine feminine would like to say to her masculine? What does she want him to know? We have curves. Running fingertips over every inch. Slow kisses. Tickles up the inner thigh. So this may be something she wants to tell him that maybe turns her on. Or what she wants to do to him. We have delicious. I crave the taste between your legs. The ecstasy on your face. So these are masculine madness. So just take it how it resonates for you. If you're the feminine. If you're a female. You know. Um, in the feminine energy. Just know that she wants to taste you. She wants to kiss every inch of you. She wants to be intimate with you. She craves your touch. And if you're a male in the feminine energy, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, a female in, in the energy or however it's reversed, just take it how it resonates in, in your situation. We have breathtaking. I can't catch my breath. Your love is too intense. She, this, this, this feminine energy really, really craves her masculine in, in every sense. She wants him Physically, she wants to feel his energy. If that's not possible, she wants you to at least let her know that you desire her. You know, a lot of a lot of feminines are that way. You know, they want to know, especially if you're a female, she wants to know that her man is interested in her, that he craves her, that he finds her sexy. And uh, this is the Divine Feminine Energy feeling this. She craves the knowledge of, you know, it kind of empowers her to know these things. We have Swallow Every Drop. So she's, yeah, she's got these kinky little thoughts going on in her head. She's got these kinky thoughts. Tie me up. I'm at your mercy. Uh-huh. <laughs> She says, let me open the blinds while you watch outside your private show. <laughs> I I'm kind of scared to pull anymore, so that's going to be it for these cards. I'm trying not to pull anything dirty, but it seems like the Divine Feminine has all this dirtiness on her mind. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty much the, the whole reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending time with me. You have a great day, and until next week, bye-bye.